What's happening, guys? Johnny Glock here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, listen, um, I'm talking about something very personal. It's a very personal subject. Lubrication. Okay? Lubrication, lubrication, lubrication. I can't tell you how many guns come in here that have been lubricated improperly as a Glock. So, um, is there a Glock on the set somewhere that I could have? All right, thank you, Mr. Landshark. We are clear. This, let's just pretend I got done at the range, okay? I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna clean my gun. This is not what you wanna do. This is what a lot of people do to 1911s, all right? They just give it a little shake and they do one of these and then it's, they're done. That's, they might wipe some of it off and then like let it, let, let it dry or they, they, I was basically, pretty conservative when I did that. Most people just pray the living crap out of them. Same thing with their frame. They're going, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to blow Wick's gun too bad, but they're just going to spray all in there and leave it. I had a trigger return today. And as you can see, there is so much grease and so much oil on the packaging as well. Now this guy's trigger ended up getting heavy over time. And I'll tell you what, right now, you know, when you start adding that amount of um, cleaning CLP and stuff like that, and a, and a mixture of how bad the ammo is, especially stuff like Winchester white box, um, what happens is you create this slurry. All right, and the slurry starts to wear the parts down like Ajax. I've spoken about this before. So basically that can put a real number on, and you can see this right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run my finger over all this stuff so you can see exactly what's going on with this gentleman's trigger right there. All this turns into a grit, and it's like barkeeper's friend or Ajax or something like that. Same thing here in this trigger safety tab. It's gonna start to build carbon up, and it's gonna turn into problems. Also, I got this cutaway for you guys to see because what you did when you sprayed the slide, I'm even going to check this one. Trade all guns like they're loaded. Oh, with this cutaway, by spraying the slide like that, you see that there's a channel there, which is called the firing pin channel. And then you have your firing, firing pin safety channel, rather, and then your firing pin channel. Okay, basically... So by spraying this, and we'll open this up and I'll show you exactly what happens. This port right here is not to put oil in. A lot of people think that's to stick your needle of one of these right here and stick it down there and dump a bunch of oil in there. That is the last thing. This is to clear water out of the, uh, out of the firing pin channel and out of the firing pin safety channel. That's what that is for if you're doing wet work. That's why they have the marine spring cups to help aid in that and um, that story. So basically when we take this part, you can see that, look, this this just came right out. It is completely over-oiled. That's usually what happens when you have that much oil. And over time, a, a Glock is considered, they call it a dry gun. Okay, it's considered a dry gun. So over time, same thing here. Look at all the oil just from that spray down that's on there. You'll see guys that come in that have so much that they start having light strikes. There's so much carbon buildup on their extractor and the hook right here, it, instead of seating onto grabbing the casing rim instead of grabbing the rim it just kind of sits outside the rim and starts causing light strikes that are minutely off center and it has nothing to do with anything except the fact that the gun was oiled that's the beginning end same thing here you can see all the oil on my hand not good so when you guys clean your guns and you talk about lubrication there is a great you can go to glock in fact, let's do this so everyone can see how to do it. Right here, open up a new tab. Well, I spelled it wrong, so. All right, so when you go to Glock Inc., you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're going to see downloadable materials. Okay, on downloadable materials, they have the owner's manual, they have all this, I'm pretty, they have the inspection form, and great, they don't have it. Annual buyer's guide. 
All right, so they don't have it. So we're going to, okay, at least, we're, at least we're learning here. We're going to uh, open up the search bar again, and we're going to say Glock. Glock Preventative Maintenance Guide. Okay. And here we are. So I've got to do it this way. It's a PDF from Glock. So you have to open up the PDF and this gives you the preventative maintenance. It gives you all the things that you need to know. And here is the important page right here. It's the lubricating field strip. So these are the only areas of this gun that you need to be. And I, we have the hand copy right here. Any, any Glock stocking dealer should have these, you know, a, a, a whole pa package of them. So basically, this is the little hand one that they give to you. They don't put this in the gun, but this is great because it tells you uh, spring limitations, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, there's only a few places you're supposed to oil this gun. All right, and we're going to go through those right now and the different oils that we use. And I'm just going to wipe this down here. So, um, and we'll put this together in a second because we really don't need to anything but the barrel. But the first thing you're going to do, and these are the products I like. I like Cleanse Oil. This is just, I've been using it forever. I'm a big supporter, a big advocate of these guys. You're literally going to put a drop right there, and then you're just going to go like that. That's it. That might even be too much. That's all you need right there. Okay? I'll go along with it. We'll follow the guidelines. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to put a drop on the barrel just like that, and then you're just gonna rub it on like that. That's literally all you have to do. And then one last drop right here on the bevel of the locking block, the back bevel right there. All right, because that goes in and out and in and out of, the, of this right here, okay? Which is the locking block, which you guys know. So that is absolutely all that needs done on this entire slide. No spraying, no nothing. You want to keep this as dry as possible. I would even say go into your gun and open, because I've been noticing from the factory they've been coming a little oily too. So I would say go into your gun and make sure this is all clean. You want it super dry. You don't want to be dragging out any firing pin channels or anything like that. You've seen the, the what can happen from this type of oiling. Slat, okay, so second, there's only really one place that they show you on this to keep oiled. And this is where if you buy one of my triggers, we always use, well, there's, uh, there's a few more, sorry. There, we always use the cleanse oil has a product. I loved it. They don't make it anymore. It was called hinge pin jelly. Everyone was complaining because it wasn't, they, they, they had to like, literally they were claiming because they had to get like an applicator like this and use it. So because it wasn't conveniently put in a syringe, there was an issue. So if you can't, you can't get a hold of this stuff anymore, I bought a ton of them. What you wanna use is this Loctite. It's called C5A, that LB, that's just for the size of this, I think. But the C5A, this is back, basically they have a contract with Glock. When you see a new Glock come and it has the copper grease right there, it's basically, they say it's a break-in grease, it's anti-seize, but I'm telling you right now, you get one of these, it's going to last forever because you just can't go through this stuff. I think I might have one of these open. These guys all have them at their tables. But basically one of these, you and your buddies can use it forever. And all you're going to do, because no matter what trigger it is, like you said, we don't want oil here. You can see how, you can see how right there on the very, can you get that scuff, all that scuff? There, okay, so you're seeing this as I'm turning it. That's what that did. So. The, the, the crap ammo mixed with the oil. I don't know the physics behind it or the whatever, but I know it happened. So basically you're gonna get some of this and you can't, you can't really mess up with putting it on there. Just get it on there. Be liberal about, I mean, be, can, be liberal about it rather. I hate using that word. <laughs> That's the only time I will use that word. So when that gets on there, that's what it should look like. It should look like a peanut butter jelly sandwich smashing out. And then you can even take some of this and put it on the outside a little bit like that. The more, this is your action. The more you keep this lubricated, the better. Also, you'll notice what I like to do, especially with the 43s and the Gen 5s and all that, is put a, use one of this as another cleanse oil product. You able to get that right in there? I put that in the clasp 
anytime metal on metal, you put that in the clasp of your return of your trigger spring right there because it really helps. It just makes things smoother. This is another cleanse oil product I like. It's called Synthetic Gun Grease. It comes in like two different. They have two different types, but it's basically the same. Guys, if you live in different climates, this is for Florida. If you live in different climates, you always have to check because these have different viscosities like frog lube I, I heard doesn't do really great in like really really cold weather like it gums up so do your due diligence and talk to your like i can call cleanse oil and talk to their techs and they can tell me anything like stuff that i don't even know you know basically about you know the viscosity and the nigl and all this other kind of stuff so um it makes a big deal when someone uh you know knows knows what their product is and uh, can tell you about it over the phone and tell you like, cause I've heard cleanser will say this doesn't work the best in this climate. So that's a consideration. So that's what you want to do. You want to, and this isn't even going in a gun. So, uh, you want to smather that in there. Now what works really great with, um, this too, with the applicator is, and I also, I know it says use oil here in these. Where's your friend? Okay. So it says to put a drop or two of oil and just let it, let it go down the rails okay but personally what i like to do um for me you know because your slide is going this way i like to load these up right here with a little bit of this like that load this one up like so and then put my slide on and work it you can see so doesn't a lot of it comes out the back here like that but you know nonetheless we know that this slide the rails are now lubricated so it's literally one two three four five five areas that you want to lubricate and also they have i'm trying to see what this is right that's the rails. Okay, this is just pointing on the rails on both sides. I was like, wait, I never saw that one before. So it's literally pointing to this and this because I don't think people, if they didn't, if they just showed one, someone would go like, oh, why do I just do the right rail? So they have to show, they have to have it pointing to two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five places you have to lubricate a Glock. Do not overdo it. If anything, be very sparing. This slide should get nothing except for that little bit on the barrel. Barrel has two oiling spots. And on the underside of your slide right here, just for this, for this motion right there, you want that to have a little bit of oil. And then it's a done deal. Basically, that is it. And so now, Wick gets the chance to, to clean all the oil out of his gun. It's a great exercise for the guys at work here. I'm going to put it in a jar with that. dish soap. <laughs> yeah. Cleaning, too. Like, what do we use for cleaning? Honestly, like, Dawn, Dawn dishwashing dish soap. liquid. Yeah. Like, for something like this that has this much oil, Dawn dishwashing liquid, a couple drops of the concentrate they get, put that in a little bucket, clean the crap out of this thing. It really does a great job. It's the grease cutter. There's no doubt about that. It breaks so, up the carbon really well, too. Yeah, it really does. So, basically... Um, that's the video, man. I had a customer come in and say, hey, when are you going to do another video? And I'm like, we're going to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So like I said, cleanse oil is what I use. I also use the Loctite um, products because I think they do a, best, a good job, especially because Glock has a contract with them. I mean, that kind of tells you something, you know, but do not be, it's not a 1911. Don't spray it. Don't let the oil drip off like that, you know, and because it's going to eventually cause problems like I showed you. And, and they will... And it will, because a lot of people don't like cleaning their guns, a lot of people don't know how to disassemble their slide. It just cakes up and cakes up and cakes up and becomes problematic. So that's it, man. That is the video for the du jour. Um, we do have um, the reset video part two coming up. I, I know I put a big span in between one and two, but I promise that will be coming out. Anyway, look, I hope you guys have a great week. And uh, summertime's coming. I hope you're going to enjoy that. Everyone's out shooting again. So, And I uh, have a huge announcement coming up. I mean, very big announcement coming up here. Uh, and it'll be, it'll be ready in about two weeks. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So remember, trigger control is control.